Hey guys, I'm gonna do a quick recap on this video. And I'm gonna start off by, and I'm gonna use this to lead into the video, actually to sort of explain what we were doing, what we were thinking, what we got going on. This is our sort of wall rope here. We just store some of our different ropes. That yellow rope we were pulling with, we had hooked to the winch on the crane. That is actually one rope in two bundles. That's a very long rope. The green rope, single bundle, they're both the same kind of rope. They're a high strength nylon that comes off of a, they're for pulling, they're used by the power company oftentimes to pull wire from structure to structure. They'll, when they're doing a job to pull in a long, long run of wire, like if you were going between cities, <clears throat> they would put dollies out on the poles and run this wire through the dollies and then attach it to the cable at the other end and drag this rope through those dollies and pull that wi that wire through all these dollies and they've got some real big pullers on the end so they've got huge drums of that kind of rope sitting there on those pullers and they can put out a lot of force so it's a real high rated rope. It's got a lot of durability to it. And when they get rid of it or replace it, that's how we end up getting some of it because they'll just throw that old stuff away and we'll pick some of it up. As you can see, we did finally get this thing pulled over. You'll see in the video, we end up having to put two ropes on it. The reason we wanted to pull it over instead of I didn't want to dig around it because I didn't want to hurt the roots of these other trees and kill these other trees or take a chance on killing them. I've had enough trees come down or need to come down this year because they've died. And the other reason, man, we thought this was going to be way easier than it turned out to be. We, this is an elm tree. We knocked, we pulled over. We pulled one over in the back, back there that was almost twice the size of this one and the mini itself actually almost pushed it over we didn't even pull it we used the we used our skid steer and pushed it over the mini was real close to doing it it just didn't have enough weight and traction behind it so we got the skid steer out we were able to push that one over so i figured this one would be a lot easier and you'll see we got we'd already got our ropes put in it we got committed to the path we were on and we were stubborn and kept trying until we finally pulled it down but it started getting less safe as we went probably so we were using the boom truck had the boom standing straight up in the air the rope going this way the reason we do that is number one we know what that winch sounds like when it's pulling real hard we've lifted some real heavy logs with this truck and this boom so we know the sound of it when it's pulling real hard, so we can kind of use that to gauge the tension we're putting into that rope. Also, you can, in the boom with this configuration, you can't just pull straight off the nose because it's got plates that force that wire to come over at least 90 degrees. <clears throat> so granted, if those weren't there, it'd be a lot easier just have the boom pointed straight back and pull along the length of the boom. And in some of it, we would use actually, we would sort of lay the boom, well, it was actually facing backwards. We would lay the boom backwards and then tighten the winch up and we would try to pull the boom back to us. And you can kind of tell how hard you're pulling on that by whether this thing's actually trying to blow relief or not in the hydraulic system. And then the other thing, you can sort of watch the, the front tires. You can gauge if this thing's trying to pick the front tires up. We've picked up some loads before in a, in a normal capacity, normal lifting scenario, that we've had the front tires almost off the ground or slightly off the ground before. So we know the structure of the truck can handle it. And we were pretty confident that that winch pulls about 4,000 pounds single line that we definitely would not pull the rope into at 4,000 pounds. Now in the end, we did have to put the skid steer on it as well. So dad was running the boom, I was running the skid steer. The mini was just sitting there, pushed up against the tree as hard as it could. And that's finally what, it, what we used to get it to go over. 
so when we got the skid steer on it that, that was definitely the skid steer is probably it's definitely eleven thousand pounds with the tracks and the tracks have a lot of a lot of grip to them so it might be able to pull that rope into i don't know one day we might take a short length of it and tie it around a tree and i might just pull on it to see what happens see if i can pull that rope into with that because i mean this rope has gotten old it's been replaced of course it, it's in good condition for what it is but it's definitely not like it would be new so we probably need to do a test and sort of see where that rope stands as far as its capacity but i when we're doing stuff like this we're not just blindly pulling on it thinking there's no consequences we're trying to do it in methods that we can understand how hard we're pulling on the truck or the rope with the truck and the, the excavator or the skid steer so i mean i'm sitting there in the skid steer with it idled idled down so i mean you can hear the pumps whining but I'm doing that to try to limit the force capacity I can put into the rope, which is also partly for my safety because I was facing the rope. If it snapped, it was gonna come back at me. So I wanted, if I was really loading up the, the drive motors, I wanted to start dragging the engine down. And then I wanted to make sure it was moving as slow as possible too. So I was just easing back on the controls real, real gently to try not to snap that rope. So, hope you enjoy the video. We, we did some things that are probably dangerous or sketchy, but we got things done. And we'll probably be taking that tree next, but we definitely will be cutting it. So, hope you enjoy.
Yeah, you're not. Can you this? You need a shackle. Let me show you how to how to tie wood. And then you'll know. Hold the knot. Get that winch on this thing, get this slack out and the winch on it. Alright, I don't use those knots enough to ever remember that hardly anyway. I just remember the that it comes out of the hole. Goes around the tree, goes the okay, so we rope into this fork right here. Pretty good sized tree. Let's see, the bucket on the mini is a 24 inch, it's 20 plus probably, diameter elm. And then we're going to stand the boom up and pull with the winch cable. We need to get a good pulley to be able to hook to the bumper and pull straight up we're gonna pull diagonal or sort of sideways with the boom probably but not ideal but that's what we have to work with skid steer has got a broken hose otherwise we just have it out there hooked to it just pull so I'll set you up here and let you see I'm not going to pull straight out like that. No. Clean that straight up and set my boom right back in. Get that, I didn't want to get all my slack out. I believe I did that limb. I'm trying to get it still above that damn limb, but I wanted to throw it back on this side, but I couldn't get the damn thing to go that way. I'm going to break that limb out.
boom that you come around this way. Come on around. Oh. We just can't tell tension on the sucker. So when it starts to go, that that block's gonna swing back to that truck pretty quick. Uh, so when it starts, the tree starts to go, and that lose just, that tension, that block will swing moving, back. I can start slacking off that, then on that. that well, still, that, that block's hanging away out there. I think it's gonna swing down pretty fast. Will it start? Nope. One aggravation of this little excavator, it's got an electrical gremlin. We tried to solve. Turn the key on, nothing happens. But kick the injection pump cylinder on, shut off cylinder, solenoid. Aggravating, have to get back there and do that every time. Okay guys, trying to get set up here to get this elm pushed over. I don't have a ton of battery on this camera, so I'll bounce around the shots and just try to set up for when something's actually going on. The idea is we're gonna push on it with the mini and pull on it with the truck out in the yard. And we'll see how things pan out if we've got enough equipment to pull it over. Get the up off the ground, or the mini up off the ground. Partially. That tree moving? Not really. Got to look, watch the base of the signal. Is that going to I've got the, everything I've got. It's up off the ground. Pulling the winch. The winch is strong. That's what I'm worried about. I'm worried, worried about breaking this down road.
see what it sounds like. that other tree that's can you, uh, I'm right on beside this side. it. Can you uh, push on that boom right there a little more? Yeah. We're at the, about the max we can pull right there. You that out of boom, maybe. Pretty much. Not the best way to do it, I'm sure. 
so we've taken a lot of trees around here i would have dug this pile of brick out of here and dug around the roots i'm trying not to kill this tree here and that tree that little tree and then this bigger tree i've got enough trees dying as it is I'm trying to keep as many as i can all right time to clean up this mess and on to the next one <laughs> 